Quick, graph y equals the cosine of x plus 2 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need some kind of graph paper and straight edge. You can use our trig grid graph paper or create your own. Press pause as needed any time during the video. The first way is with what we call the cosine dance. You need to recall what the graph of y equals cosine of x looks like. And notice the five key points of interest. And I just circled them there. These key points are affected by the parameters in the equation, as all points are. And the key parameter here, the only one, is adding 2 outside the function. So that plus 2 shifts all points up 2 units, a vertical shift. So the initial point, which is normally at 0, 1, is shifted up 2 units to 0, 3. So that will be my first point to plot. I then like to look at the end of the first period, which is normally at 2 pi 1. And we're going to shift those points up, all points up 2 units, including that one, to 2 pi 3. So I'll plot that one. And then halfway between the beginning of the period and, and, and the uh, end of the period is a minimum at pi negative 1 normally, but we're adding 2 to all the y coordinates, so it'll be pi positive 1. Halfway between these two points, it's going to be a point of inflection at pi over 2, 0, so it'll be shifted up 2 to pi over 2, 2. And then halfway between these two points, another point of inflection, normally at 3 pi over 2, 0, but now up to 3 pi over 2, comma 2. Press pause as needed. So we need to connect the points as a cosine wave. So starting with the first point, I'll do uh, half of a frown or concave down. And then those next three points will be connected with a smile, a concave up curve. And then half of a frown concave down. And that's one period of the wave. We'd like to duplicate that in the negative direction. To do that, we'll go back a period starting at 0, 1 and go back 2 pi to negative 2 pi comma 3. This point goes back a period 2 pi from that to negative 3 pi over 2 comma 2. This point goes back a period back to negative pi 1. And this point goes back to negative pi over 2 comma 1, comma 2, sorry, comma 2. Go ahead and connect the points as a cosine wave again, the half of a frown, complete smile, half of a frown. Compare it to the parent function, and you can see that each point is shifted up two units. Okay, I'm just going to show a few of them, but every single point is shifted up two units. Pause is needed. Second way is with a table. So this is our table of values along the uh, axes. Complete the table, pause as needed. And these are the values, you should just know those. We need to create a second table. And our parameter again is add two to each of the y coordinates only, meaning nothing is being done to the x coordinates. So we'll go ahead and keep the x coordinates the same. But we're going to add 2 to each of the y coordinates. So 1 plus 2 is 3. And so we'll plot 0, 3. 0 plus 2 is 2, pi over 2, 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, over to the right pi, up 1. 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 pi over 2, 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3, over to the right 2 pi, up to 3. Connect the points as a cosine wave. Half of a frown concave down. Entire smile concave up. And half of a frown concave down. 
We'd like to plot another one to the left. So again, we'll start at 0, 1 and go back 2 pi. So it'll be at negative 2 pi 3, not 0, 1, 0, 3, sorry. Back 2 pi a period to negative 3 pi over 2, 2. Back a period to negative pi 1. Back a period to negative pi over 2, 2. And now again, we can connect the points as another cosine wave. And compare it to the parent function. Now, you try one. Graph y equals the cosine of x minus 3. Use either method or both for the practice. Pause is needed. Resume when you're ready. And here's the answer in green right here. Compared to the parent function, every single point is shifted down three units because of that minus 3.